Writing is like any skill. The more you do it, the better you become. Another good way to get in the habit of writing is to keep a diary or journal. Keeping a journal is important. I think it gives you a way to, to record what's happening around you. And particularly for myself, because I'm always in a hurry. There's always so much going on. If I don't capture it in some way, I'm afraid I'll lose it. And so I've been keeping journals since high school. And I have a, I prefer the, the hard spine kind that can survive been in the, the bottom of a, of a stack of books that in a book bag, in the trunk of a car, um, on the floor, in the mud, in the rain, that can survive all of that because I like to take, it, take one with me everywhere I go. And a lot of this is real personal things where they don't really, some things they don't mind sharing with me, but other things I wouldn't want them to feel they had to share with me. I consider my journals a safe space. You know, they're not open to the public. Um, I'm very defensive about uh, people having free access to them. And there are things that I've written that I, that I don't want some people to see ever. You know, I think that it may change my mother's opinion about me if she saw everything I've ever written. Writing has a way of really putting things in perspective. And I think that's how I started off as a writer because I always had a diary. Johnny doesn't love me. My parents are getting divorced. I'm 10 years old. That's when I really, really started writing when my parents were divorcing. And I have all of those diaries. I have them all stacked up. I have these funky little diaries, and um, they're special to me because I can go back there and look at the person that I was, that skinny little person that never fit into her clothes, that was trying to find a space of her own. My, my room was always really crowded, and my mother didn't like us to close the door, and uh, she was always afraid for us in some fearful kind of way, and so she didn't want us we didn't have a lot of privacy. And so my privacy was going into my journal and really writing about those things. I have a kind of a diary-like journal where you, and that's what most people think that journaling is, that you keep a diary every day and you put your thoughts and feelings down. Um, and you can do that um, because I write fiction and I write poetry. I also um, have some of those things in. Um, I kind of document my life if I go to um, a play or if I go to a film or I go to um, listen to someone speak and that may be something that I either need to or have to write about later. Um, I'll have maybe pieces of the flyer and I'll have uh, maybe some quotes of what that person said. Well here's an example of my journal um, that's just got scribbles, it's got drawings here, it's got some words here on the side. Uh, they're definitely not complete sentences there. Um, I've got a date. Some of them I have dates on. Some of them I don't. Um, I've got papers inside um, of different things that I've went to. I've got um, all kind of scribbled things. I've got things pulled from other places that I need to stick in later. A lot of people tell me that they um, write things on the backs of envelopes and napkins and that kind of thing. The, the good thing about keeping a journal is that um, you've got something hardbound that you can go back to and it's kind of nice to, to have on your bookshelf um, some of your own writing. You can use any kind of notebook as your diary or journal. Write just a little or go on for pages. Record what happens to you. Write down your observations private thoughts, and ideas. If you can't write every day, try to add something at least a few times a week. Keeping a diary or journal is a good introduction to writing because you're writing about what you know best, your own ideas and experiences. There are many ways to practice personal writing. <laughs>